is just this young, raw, insane talent who's probably going to be one of the best players in NA. Twist, they're looking up, they're not even looking down, they don't clear the corner, and Almanac had no idea. Twist has like an incredible amount of talent and just a lot of work ethic. The weird position now for the peak on Destiny, beautiful stuff from oh Twist! My beautiful God. twist yes. towards the end, absolutely glorious clutch from Twist. Twist is, he's an insane fragment. Every event he's just delivering and delivering. And twist in the corner, there should be no way out. My god! How has he done it? Picking up a quick triple, and he's gonna win the round! Absolutely oh, yeah. godlike! I remember I was showing her like video clips of like ESL Cologne, and I remember telling her like, if you let me pursue like pursue this, I'll be there one day. He peeked out, AK available, he's gonna grab it on the run. And he's got the bomb, he's got armor. This is a straight one on two, but Alex is close! Oh. Twist! He bangs him out somehow! A third! He's got confidance in his name, and he sees oh. it as a BK is fast! And That's Twist shows us all that Maple Syrup is just another form of Liquid! Otherwise, it has to be on the A site. They're gonna wrap back at least. Oh. He does enough damage though, and that gives Twist the chance. Crips is low, and Twist will close out the round. I don't know, I was just never happy. Life out, outside of the computer wasn't that good. He's got nothing to work with except this rifle. He gets the headshot, turning it around, and no! He picks it up, it's overtime! Straight into the heart and out to the A site. Already getting knocked out of it. Twist, ridiculously, four headshots. The guy's skill level is unbelievable. For me, in terms of pure skill, he's the NA equivalent to Simple. This is a guy who's just superlative in terms of what he's able to do. Oh my god, he's done it! A twist indeed, because Liquid are going to pick up a round they had no business winning. Growing up in Kelowna, British Columbia, video games were a huge part of Russell Twist Van Dulken's family life. I think it was a way to build like a father-son bond. Like we, I don't know, we played like everything together, like even even rock band. I don't know, I feel like it was the best way I could connect with him. Because if he wasn't playing games, he was working. Twist spent much of his childhood watching his dad play video games and had started playing Quake himself. My first FPS was Quake. I don't know what happened, but I think they just let me uh, play Quake with him because he, they knew it's like I was always watching him. He had a big influence on me playing video games. I mean, he's the one that basically started it for me. And then when Twist was 13, his father, who'd already been separated from his mother for some time, moved away entirely. It felt as if Twists had lost his best friend. So like she didn't care if I was like constantly sitting there playing games. Somewhat didn't care if I was like not doing my homework. All she cared about was seeing me laugh and seeing me have fun on my PC and seeing me be myself because I was not myself like at school or around other people. Since his days in elementary school, Twist had been the victim of bullying. In school, I was bullied a lot throughout uh, most of my middle school years. I mean, I was only in high school for one year, so I can't really say anything about that. I don't know, I was just never happy. But after moving in with his mom and her boyfriend, Twists turned his attention to a new game. CS quickly became Twist's newest obsession and served as an escape from the perils of his everyday life. Her, wait, her like vision on like me playing games always was like it was like a babysitter for me. While Twist's mother was happy to see him so invigorated, her boyfriend didn't understand Twist's love for the game, and it wasn't long before that lack of understanding turned into verbal abuse. So even when I went home, I felt like I was still being judged and bullied, like no matter what I did. Fearing for their safety, they packed their bags and left. It was only then, when he and his mother had fashioned a new, healthier home life, that Twists was able to throw himself into Counter-Strike completely. Probably the best thing that my parents did for me, or my mom, was to let me play, like every day. Because she thought like the computer was like my babysitter, and that she always knew where I was, and I was never in trouble. So that's one thing that I'm probably most thankful for, is she just let me sit there for 10 to 12 hours a day playing video games. By the time he was 14, Twists had already made a name for himself in the North American CS scene and was regarded as something of a prodigy. He joined Tectonic in October 2015 before making his ESL Pro League debut with Team AGG in early 2016, making him the first professional player to be born after the creation of the original Counter-Strike mod. And then in March of 2016, it happened. Twists got his first break and joined Team Solo Mid's new North American roster. Joining TSM was difficult because my mom looked at this contract and didn't really know what to do as like a parent figure because like she saw a bunch of things. She saw like salaries, she saw like a time frame, 
And I remember I was showing her like video clips of like ESL Cologne and everything, like the stage. And I remember telling her like, if you let me pursue like pursue this, I'll be there one day. Like I'll, I'll work so hard for this, so let me do it. His first stop, the ECS Season 1 Finals and a foreshadowing face-off against Astralis. I feel that Twists and Sick are two of maybe four or five players that I really think are going to be the, the next stars of the NA scene and the Twists obviously because he was, he's only 16. In Twists' first ever round at an international LAN, he found himself in a 1v2 against Device and Dupree. Everyone was looking at Twists to prove himself and well. Quick, that will help as Device hits the shots bar off. Twist, the young player on TSM, too young even for the E-League, can't manage to land it. So they'll get the full 10 second defuse and Astralis will pick up the first round. The worst part is that it happened again, not two rounds later. One versus two, only 19 HP to work with. There we go then, Twist, 19 HP. Needs to be to the side together. There it is, Astralis. Win the round. But this kid had some fight in him. He opens up the map there for TSM. Gets the first entry kill into a drop down area. Picks up the orb as well. Gets the second is Twist. Another three kills with him. Great performance so far. TSM went on to beat Astralis and despite losing to an unstoppable Luminosity in the main event, landed themselves a top four finish. Still an AWP to go against him and Cold's gonna win the angle. 16-14 it is and Luminosity right through to the, straight through, excuse me, to the grand finals. He said goodbye to TSM but what a tournament it's been for them, what a fairy tale story, turning up the complete underdog, no one expected anything from them. Unfortunately, TSM would never achieve anything of note after that, and Twist spent the next six months training while he waited for another opportunity similar to that of his teammate Automatic, who'd been given the chance to join Cloud9 in August. Come April 2017, he got it. Following the players' rights debacle that took place earlier that year, in which Twists and his teammates left TSM in order to continue playing with Sean Garras on Misfits, he was offered the chance to join Team Liquid. It's a dream come true to be playing on Team Liquid. Being a 17-year-old player and playing on a Tier 1 team feels great. I feel like I'm actually the youngest player playing at this like, type, like competition level. It makes me feel like I have something to prove against like Tier 1 Europeans. Following the departure of their Ukrainian phenom Simple, Liquid were eager to usher in yet another soon-to-be superstar, a prodigy who would blossom into CSGO's next world-class talent. And as far as Liquid were concerned, that player was Twists. Uh, my impression of Twist before he joined the team was that he was just this young, raw, insane talent who's probably going to be one of the best players in NA. I know eventually he's going to be super, super great. Probably like the best player in NA by far in a, maybe a few months or so. This guy's going places. He's going to definitely be in the top of NA, or if not the world. On paper, Liquid had the potential to be a top-level team. And they were, at first. As they're completely surrounded or even less, they know he's behind the rock. And Elise will flank it. Liquid to the finals, Cloud9 to play off against FaZe. One North American team through, and for the second week in a row, they take down the number one rated team in the world. The issue was that they were inconsistent. After making top four at the ESL Pro League Season 5 finals, they took second at both ESG Mykonos and ESL1 New York. Then, in a stunning turn of events, they bombed out of the E-League Premier and Epicenter. Over the course of 2017, it became apparent that Liquid had the pieces to be one of the world's best, but they simply couldn't figure out how to put them together. Their in-game leader, Stanislaw, wasn't quite meshing with the team's playstyle, and JDM wasn't the opera he once was. Despite cracking into the top tier at a slew of premier events, Twists simply couldn't carry his teammates to a championship. Still, he was putting up staggering performances and was quickly developing a reputation for being one of the most underrated players in the game. Come the new year, Liquid's humiliating 12th-14th finish at the Boston Major made it clear that the team was in desperate need of a change. They kicked JDM in favor of NAF, and having had virtually no time to practice, they made their mark at CS Summit 2. Still no kit. Is there a kit anywhere? Oh my god. He's gonna find the kit. He's not gonna get a 10 second defuse in. Oh, and there nice. it is. Nitro with a wow. 3k to finish things off. And Liquid are your CS Summit 2 champions. Coming to the Star Ladder Season 4 Finals, Twists had approached new levels of insanity. Straight into the heart and out to the A site. Already getting knocked out of it. Twist ridiculously four headshots. You're gonna have to run through a Molotov, steal on the site. That's an easy kill and everyone's just kind of stopped cold. And now Twist. The magnificent Van Dalken with a magnificent double kill. And they're gonna keep doing this. Twist will get one more headshot. 
Here he is with a double looking for the triple. He's such a good pistol player. And that's going to leave Guardian in the open. One versus two. Twist will take him down. Having benched Stanislaw several months earlier, Liquid recruited Steel in his stead before enlisting the help of one of the game's most accomplished support players. Taco is a two-time major champion, 11-time world champion. I don't know how many fi finals he's been in. We couldn't find someone more experienced for the one-to-one -one trade in the role. With Taco at their side, Liquid quickly solidified themselves as North America's strongest roster. And through it all, Twists was becoming the superstar everyone predicted he would. By April 2018, everything pointed towards Liquid finally becoming a true international contender one of the best rosters in the world. The problem was that Counter-Strike was about to enter a starry new era, one in which the best Liquid could ever hope for was second place. Back-to-back -back ECS, back-to-back -back Pro League, Marseille, Season 7, Chicago, and now for the first time ever at home, Season 8, Astralis are the champions of ESL Pro League, and for the first time in history, the best of all fucking time, Intel Grand Slam! It's the strongest. Going into the London Major, Twists had lost three consecutive grand finals to Astralis. So when he matched up against them in the semi-finals, he was hoping to change the narrative. So they know how we play. Uh, as long as I said in interviews, it seems like we're just a replica of them. And that's because we didn't have much time to practice. This time around, if we get them in the 3-0 stage, I think we're going to beat them. But Astralis were unstoppable. Naf versus Zipix. M4 in hand, one smoke to work with. There's a kit inside of the site, but he's got to find that. And Zipix, he could play the sound. He could sit this back. Smoke goes on it. Not on the kit. He's going to have to try and play this. 10 seconds has to take the fight. And Zipix got it instead. Well, Glaive to defend the ramp first. He's a little bit of noise here. He's trying to bait in his teammate there. You can see it's Zipex on the left-hand side. They're trying to work together. First kill successful for the CTs. It's all falling apart. Wow. Ramp is the tightest choke point on the map. Got to be very careful up against those CZ. Zipex, he'll find the bomb. No mistake about it. Taco's not even aware of where that came from. And the oh just finds a third, a fourth as well as he catches out Twist. He could start this off with an ace. It would be hard to imagine. Nitro even gives him the chance as he gets Glaive down at the very least. Bomb committed to the site. No chance to retreat back for Nitro. Just crowds crawling for it. One versus three, and he nails it. That is a beautiful start. It quickly became apparent that if Astralis hadn't transformed into the greatest team in CSGO history, Liquid would probably be the number one in the world. The issue is that even when they weren't playing Astralis, Liquid couldn't win a grand final to save their lives. He knows where the bomb is. He knows there's a smoke on it. He's got it. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. Sonny's got away with it. Mouse Sports win it. The Battle of Brooklyn. And they're back to winning after the roster change. After so much work, and it's heartbreak for Liquid, Mouse Sports, and ESL1. Despite earning his first MVP medal at the ESL1 New York final, Twists couldn't prevent Liquid from suffering an unlikely defeat at the hands of Mouse. Never has there been an MVP portrait in which the recipient looked this disappointed. Twists went on to lose two more grand finals to Astralis before the end of 2018, but was still ranked among HLTV's top players of the year. Twists! He hasn't got that much experience in the game still. And what's more, you look at him as a player, the guy is 19 years old. He can considerably get even better. If you look at what's happened to the path of the really godlike European players like Simple, Twists can potentially ascend to that level. By now, Liquid had realized that if they were to put an end to the Danish super team's dynasty, they would need to shake things up. As I'm sure many of you have heard, we are making a couple roster changes. The main thing to discuss, of course, is the trade between Zeus and Taco for Stewie 2K. Is there any like huge changes between Taco and Stewie? What do you think is the biggest difference? Uh, probably uh, Stewie's more, I guess, of a natural leader. Mm. So he's a lot to say usually, and he doesn't hold anything back. So far, I think actually since Stewie joined, uh, Nick's leading has been way better. Following a victory at I by Power Masters that some in the scene discounted, I hate the fact that people degraded our win at our power so much. Just because some shitty stage doesn't mean that it was a real game of CS. And we beat them fair and square, man. Like, we played our hearts out that game. Twists prepared for a repeat performance at the IEM Katowice Major. Unfortunately, with everyone so fixated on beating Astralis, no one saw the northern lights flashing in the sky. This could be all she wrote for Liquid. 20 seconds left, and Ali chipped in for a third, and a fourth! Ends have done it! They pulled off the upset!
the better team today, and Entz eliminates a tournament favorite right at the start of the playoffs. Following their stunning 5th 8th finish at the Major, Liquid seemed to lose a little bit of the momentum they built up after finally beating Astralis at I by Power. In fact, come the Grand Finals of Blast Pro Series Sao Paulo, it looked as if Liquid had never beaten them at all. Real challenge will be Device, posted up with the AWP, drops Nitro first, hits the second shot. I mean, closing the distance and getting that bomb in is one thing, but you need the numbers still up from Coffins, looks to load Liquid into it, sees the shadow, easy pickup, now it's 2v2. Remember, 2v4 from the get-go, both these T's hiding behind Barbecue. Dupree's position could very well go unchecked. And the counter terrorists, they're just gonna try to cover the smoke. Neither, no! And now he's gonna wildly spray, but the player can't find the bomb! Twist has given it up! Twist miss his chance to clutch! And that is 10 for Astralis! I didn't even believe it. You know, I, re I really didn't. Running out of options, running out of time, running out of wiggle room. Wave, easy 2k. He's even gonna bag himself a third. They just feed themselves into the M4. But then, something important happened. Astralis made a conscious decision to lighten their hectic tournament schedule, skipping certain events in favor of others. For Astralis, this was an opportunity to take a breather. For Liquid, it was an opportunity to pounce. The thing is, despite being regarded by many as the best player in North America, Twists had never actually won a Tier 1 tournament. But that all changed at IEM Sydney. But now it's going to be Stewie. He has to get aggressive. Good find of the first one. Best chance for Liquid, and it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Smoke. Oh! Entry, but he fires into it and times it perfectly. Just to spawn out both. Gets the information at least for Broland to back off. He finds the headshot, as he seems to do consistently on pistols. But JW and Broland down. It's Crims next. Bombs going forward. They oh! have to get the kill on Crims and twists. He's not falling off in this grand final. He does exactly that. His 17th kill. Catching up to Naf, who leads on 19. Peter, I remind you, we need half that Canadian flag back as exist. He wants to wrap back through Nade to do damage. Nitro won't have 100 anymore. He's down to 71. He's alone, exist. Kitten, no armor. He's the tactical mind in this, but he's got the aim. Well, nearly got the aim on the twist, but he finds it. Twist still waits, he'll peek. Roland spotted. He's got the CZ and he's gone. It's all on the JW. Smoke to wait, and it's done finally. Liquid get their notch on a Grand Slam. The first of four they'll go after, the first Tier 1 event, and Stewie is the answer, it turns out, after all. Sure, Twist had earned his first Tier 1 championship and a second MVP medal, but there was one caveat. Astralis had decided to skip that tournament. DreamHack Masters Dallas played out similarly to IEM Sydney. And he detects threat now. He can send players on the other side. It's going to be a kill for Twist, surely. He gets the first. Is this where it ends? Alu in a three versus one. Shot to Twist is tagged. But he's got the kill. And Liquid have it. They've got the championship. They've got Masters. And two in the Intel Grand Slam. It created what felt like a tectonic shift in the world of Counter-Strike. After spending 406 days at the top of the world ranking, Astralis had lost their spot to Liquid. But like Sydney, Astralis hadn't attended DreamHack Masters Dallas. So come ESL Pro League Season 9 Finals, the first Tier 1 tournament in which both Liquid and Astralis would be in attendance, it felt as if Twists had more to prove than ever before. If you're Liquid and you go into this game, you have to realize, wait, wait a minute, this is our chance. This is now. The Beast is bleeding. We are feeling great. If we beat them, maybe we have a chance at the third notch in the Grand Slam and we can win the tournament. That has to play into your mind. Well, it's pulled everyone away from Stewie. He's the only one here. First shot is his. Second shot is his. Bomb is his as well. And he's got another one. Stewie just tears them all down. It's Stewie to ignite Team Liquid in the second half. That's going to be devastating. He's thinking about it, but now rifle out instead. He's going to pick up the one kill, and yet this should be a lockdown. Sip already low on health. Nap is going to be going down. Ten seconds here, and the flank is happening as well. Stewie getting a kill. Nine seconds, and with the bomb drop, Dupree, he's got no chance at all. He's going to go down to Stewie. Quad kill on him as well. Now they're finally going to put it out and try and push their way through. Oh, and it's two for one. Then third one, Nap, absolute rock solid defense, shutting down four players. They had absolutely no chance to make it through. And following it up, making it a double, they're lining up for him, and he's gonna take three with him. What a performance, oh! one twist. 
How is it even possible? There's still a lot of trouble at this bomb site. Elish gonna be walking right onto the site and taking down Glaive. And Elish, again, he's been a hero this whole game. Taking down Magus next, and Naf is gonna be there at the crossfire. Device gets a second one, they could do it already. And Device, he misses a shot, but he's gonna stick it. He's gonna stick the defuse, and Naf's got him in the smoke. Liquid make their way to the semi-final. A desperate retake is almost there, but Naf shuts it down right at the end. Twists could finally be considered the star player of the best team in the world. And in the finals against G2, he put on the performance of a lifetime. Bomb now being picked up by somebody else. Nat for the leg shot. Is it going to be quite enough here? Twist long range. Another headshot comes in, taking down shocks, and that grinds everything to a halt here for G2. Twist can surely get the first one, and Elise will be ready to pounce. Twist, they're looking up. They're not even looking down. They don't clear the corner, and Almanac had no idea. That first kill was so quick. Oh, what a conversion to pick up the kill. Have they done enough, G2? It's shocks inside. We're going to get that fifth round. Twist, he's on. One versus two, he tries for the bomb plant, there's surely no way he could do it. They have got him boxed in right now. He's got nothing to work with except this rifle. He gets the headshot, turning it around, and no! He picks it up, it's overtime! This could be the final winning moment, just him walking down. He's spotting it out, he's gonna be flanking Maz, they're setting up, and that's an absolute disaster. Stewie, he may have just done it! Double for him, and Alicia on the other side! Oh my god, Amanek get a 1 versus 3 with 19 seconds. Unbelievable scenes here, ladies and gentlemen. Team Liquid are your Season 9 Pro League champions. Come July, a dominant showing at ESL1 Cologne saw Twists and his teammates secure one of the most prestigious tournament wins of the year. You're quite emotional right now. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the greatest achievements. I think the greatest achievement of, uh, you know, North American CS. And um, uh, just to think that my mom and dad are watching this right now, it really makes me teary. And I don't know, across my team. These guys are awesome, and I wouldn't want to play with anyone else. North American Counter-Strike, the pendulum has swung that way. You, the kings are dead, long live the kings. This is the new era. Yeah, I think, I mean, last year we was living in a shadow, and it gave us all this drive, and we knew that we were going to be the best this year, and we're living up to it. With this, Liquid became the second team to complete Intel's million dollar Grand Slam, and it took them only 63 days. It's pretty crazy just how far Twists has come. He's gone from a quiet, unassuming kid, one who never should have had a shot in the first place, to arguably the best player in North America. The guy's skill level is unbelievable. For me, in terms of pure skill, he's the NA equivalent to Simple. This is a guy who's just superlative in terms of what he's able to do. He's known a lot of adversity. Life out, outside of the computer wasn't that good. Even when I went home, I felt like I was still being judged and bullied, like no matter what I did. But with the help of his friends, family, and a shitload of resilience, he's managed to become one of Counter-Strike's greatest talents. To go from everything he was to everything he thought he could be. From Russell to Twists. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.